<laughs> so we just got home from our walk and I changed. I'm wearing my little tennis mini skirt from Aritzia. I have kind of rediscovered Aritzia. I still very much mostly thrift, but Aritzia does have some really good pieces. I'm wearing my favorite vintage t-shirt, tall black socks, and my shoes from Shop Pesh. And I'm gonna head out and take you guys thrifting. Hey guys, so in this thrift trip, I thrifted pretty much everything on my summer wish list. This one's a bit of a long one, but you'll want to see everything I found because the pieces were so good, including more pieces than I dreamed for my upcoming Europe trip. I started off with the men's blouses, I found one pale yellow one, and then I moved on to shoes and found these incredible sneakers and heels. I even found a pair of Louis Vuitton heels, and I'm pretty positive they're authentic, they have a serial number inside. Let me know if you know a little bit more about these, because I definitely have to look them up, but I was just totally obsessed with them. That little dice detail. I also found a pair of Coach wooden clog mules, which ended up being too small. Next I moved on to the purses and wallets section and I found this really cute leather wallet with all these colorful floral details which felt very fun and summery, however I really only need one wallet at a time so I decided to leave it behind. Definitely a very sweet piece though. Next I found this super chic round velvet wristlet bag and it's so funny watching this back because I literally had no idea how to wear it at first. I just loved how it looked and it just seemed like the perfect kind of granny chic going out bag so I was obsessed with that. Also found these really cool silver heels which I did not need but they were definitely a very fun pair. I was obsessed with these kitten heels that had ruffled straps. You guys know I love texture and I'm totally into this girly moment right now. So um, yeah, these felt just perfect for summer. I think they're also just a really timeless style. So I was very happy to pick those up and our cart is looking good. I continued on with the heels and I've actually found these amazing wedges. These are definitely like a Y2K moment. They're actually by Jeannie Lottie, which I'm pretty sure is a Toronto-based designer. And I've thrifted her like purses and stuff before, and they're so cute. Then I found another pair that reminded me a lot of like a pair of Emilio Pucci kitten heels. These ones I think were by Aldo, so not quite as special. But I did really like the silver buckle detail that they had, as well as the floral pattern and bits of blue and green. It definitely felt like a good summery pair. Not too cheesy, but a good pop of color. I also love, love, love these two pairs. This one has a crochet flower, which is like literally the most me thing I can think of at the moment. And I love these second pair of Jeannie Lottie heels because they were actually velvet and had a really pretty bow at the front. Next, I moved on to the purses and I found another perfect example of my style at the moment. I also found those Ferragamo heels. They're definitely a very vintage pair and I ended up leaving them behind because ultimately they weren't really my style or something that I could picture selling in my shop. These heels, do you guys remember when I found those Barbie pink pointed toe shoes from Irregular Choice? I just found another pair and I don't think I've ever heard of them before finding that last pair, but I absolutely love them. I took them to New York with me, so that was kind of an interesting find again. Next, I found this incredible baby pink corduroy jacket and it had like the perfect amount of rhinestone sparkle to it. I don't really understand that circle at the bottom, but I do like the collar trim and that kind of detail. Also found this blazer, which you guys can already guess, I was into that flower detail. It just feels very Carrie Bradshaw and I absolutely love Sex and the City, but um, that blazer wasn't my favorite. I think I could find a better one. Or if I just found a flower brooch, which I, had, I do have a couple like that, then I can definitely just recreate that 
Then I moved on to the dresses section. I haven't had too much luck with it, but I moved on to lingerie and I definitely found some cool pieces there. I've been on the hunt for a corset. I'm also on the hunt for slip shorts with lace. I do have one pair of ivory ones. I would love a pair of black ones. And I also picked up a black slip skirt, which was on my list as well. Next I moved on to the main skirt section and I found this really cool kind of ruffled mini skirt, definitely a very classic Y2K piece. I also found this purple mini skirt which was definitely a nice pop of color. I actually thrifted a bright like electric blue one maybe last year and I was obsessed with it. And then I found this incredible pair of floral pants and for some reason I felt like these were totally a pair that maybe like Bella Hadid would wear or something and I've been really liking her style recently so that was definitely a nice find. Then I found this Pierre Cardin skirt which I was really excited about because I obviously love the designer. I've thrifted a lot of pieces by Pierre Cardin before but I felt like the red and white combination, it just felt like a combination that I wouldn't really get much wear out of. I did find a couple other skirts. I also found these shorts, which like these bloomers have been so popular recently and I was definitely really excited to find them in a more unique color. Please ignore the literal kid screaming in the background. Anyways, then I found this incredible Roberto Cavalli skirt and it's literally like a silk skirt that came with a silk scarf on the side. I can't believe that somebody donated this. Then I found this ballerina-esque tulle skirt and I've actually been looking for one. I feel like it's just something I've been feeling recently and also just something that I want to experiment with styling. I think that would be so fun. I also found this incredible baby pink mini skirt. Yeah, super obsessed with that. Also found this denim skirt, which again felt like it reminded me of a piece that I think Bella Hadid wore recently also. So that was a vibe and then just a couple other fun pattern pieces that I wouldn't necessarily get much wear out of, but I wanted to show you guys. Then I found this black skirt, which I liked for its ruffle. I thought the bow and tassel were really pretty and it was actually just a pin. So, I mean, I could have bought the skirt just for the pin, but I felt like I didn't need that. And then I found another Escada piece. If you guys have been watching my thrift with me, as you know, I have really good luck at the thrift store with Escada. So that was just another great find. And it's gonna be too big on me, so that's definitely a piece that I'm putting up in my shop if you're interested. Guys, I haven't found this much stuff in one trip in so long. And I'm talking like really good things. Then I moved on to the dresses and I found some really cute pieces here as well. I was really into this piece. It definitely had a good combination of like a nightgown and also I think kind of a fun girly moment for wearing out. Um, but I wasn't in love with the pattern so I ended up leaving it behind. I also really liked the waistband of this dress and the kind of sequin top, but it was actually just a piece from like seduction. It wasn't exactly vintage or anything special. And then I moved on to jeans and I'm definitely very much into the low rise comeback. So that's kind of what I was mainly looking for. I moved on to the bikini section. I found this adorable one with a heart in the middle. Love that. It was unfortunately too big on me though. And then I found the dreamiest Victoria's Secret mini skirt with bikini bottoms underneath. Definitely a great piece for summer, for vacation. Honestly, you could probably even just wear it normally since it does have a layer underneath. And I found these mesh pants, which were also just incredible, as well as these green short shorts. So at this point my cart was really full as you can see and I just decided to go through everything and pick out the items that were definite yeses. Definitely those green shorts and this mini skirt. It's even similar to the one I'm wearing so clearly something that I'm into. 
I did find a couple pairs of pants that I didn't show you guys earlier, but these ones I loved. They're sheer, would make such a good look for going out at night, so I love that. Also found this helmet laying asymmetrical tank dress, and I just thought it was a really good wardrobe basic that I could kind of style spring, summer, or fall, which we love a versatile piece. Then I found pretty much an exact opposite of that last dress, and this was a really cute baby pink baby doll dress. I was so in love with it when I found it, but when I tried it on at home, it ended up being really wide and not flattering. I mean, these dresses aren't necessarily flattering or fitted, but it wasn't quite what I was hoping it would be. And then I found this really gorgeous teal dress as well. It felt so summery. I ended up leaving it behind just because I wasn't sure where I would really wear it. It felt like a little bit more than a casual piece, also because of the length of it. So I ended up leaving it behind and I also left behind this dress because although I love a black halter dress, it just felt like a really cheap material and I couldn't really get behind it. I did find this super dreamy seduction hot pink dress though. It was so slinky and ruched and fitted and had these beautiful sheer lace panels on either side at the top and the bottom which I was just totally obsessed with. I think for the first time in a long time I was so happy with my color palette on this thrift trip. It was just everything I've been imagining for summer and just totally suited where my style kind of is right now. Because you guys know I love my neutrals and I'm quite picky when it comes to color but I was just obsessed with all of those. I also found this really dreamy vintage dead stock Holt Renfrew sequin skirt which I thought was stunning. I considered getting it for my upcoming Euro trip and I ended up finding a whole last minute and it just kind of ruined it for me. Unfortunately it would have been a beautiful piece otherwise. I also found this really pretty ruffled and super lightweight skirt with butterfly prints all over. I thought it was so precious. I think I ended up leaving it just because I thought the pattern was a little bit busy. Um, I don't usually wear much pattern. As I was heading over to the mirror, I actually found this incredible blazer and it's a wool piece so definitely more for fall and winter, but it has the most beautiful ribbon detail and it, it's literally like a satin ribbon that can be tied on the sleeves, on the back, and I was just so obsessed with that. I think it's so pretty and just kind of like a step up of a blazer. Definitely a very cool detail that I haven't seen before. I was also really happy with this denim skirt find. I love the pocket detail and I found the most beautiful dusty rose corduroy pants. I was not in love with the length. They're definitely cropped on me and I like my pants long, but I thought they could be kind of a cool moment with some socks. Um, just kind of the way I was wearing them there. And here are the rose pants, obviously cropped as well, but they do have a bit of a flare, so I think it's a little bit more intentional. I've definitely been a lot more into pink now than I used to be, so that's kind of a fun moment for me. I also found this really cute ruffle skirt, which I think I mentioned earlier. I actually only left it behind because I thrifted a fairly similar one a few weeks prior. I am so behind on filming thrift hauls for you guys, so I definitely need to do that because I basically have a whole summer's worth of pieces to show you. The pink corduroy jacket, as you can maybe tell by my face, um, I had a bit of a weird fit. It almost looked like it's been washed and shrunk and stretched and I wasn't really sure if I could make it work, but I was kind of determined. I did really like the baby pink and rhinestone and then I just tried out a couple of the purses. I obviously love them, there was no doubt about it. I was just trying to be realistic with myself and I don't wear mini purses very often. I tend to go for medium sized bags the most often and I just feel like I don't really have an occasion for these at the moment. So I left them behind with a heavy heart. And this round velvet bag on the other hand I think was just the most unique out of them and I felt like it'd be hard to find a similar one again. So I did end up purchasing her, and I love her. And lastly, it was time to tackle all of those shoes. I tried on these really cool pointed toe wedges, but I ended up realizing that one of the straps was broken. 
And the heel itself was also pretty tall, so I was a little bit worried I wouldn't get much wear out of them. Then I tried on the Genie Lottie Velvet Bow ones. Super cute, but they did fit a little bit tight, and the strap was also in a bit of a rough condition, so unfortunately I had to leave those behind as well. And here are the kitten heels with ruffle straps. I already knew I was going to love these and yeah, those were definite yes, there was no question about it. And here are those Poochie-esque Aldo kitten heels, which I did think were actually quite cute, but they were too small on me um, by about a full size, so I feel like it would have been a little bit forced and I decided to leave them behind for someone else. Guys, this is crazy. I bought three bags full of things. I think this actually sums up my trip. <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys. Totally fulfilled my summer wish list. 